Hello everyone, ChatGPT Agent is finally here and this is not just another upgrade. This is a general purpose AI agent that plans, reasons and takes action. Think of it as ChatGPT with a brain and muscles. They can browse the web, run code, fetch data from your apps and generate actual files like presentations and spreadsheets all from one place. This year, we've seen a wave of AI agents from Manus to Genspark to Minimax, and they've shown some amazing potential. And this time it's OpenAI promising a general purpose agent that doesn't just respond, but plans, reasons, and takes action. So in this video, I'm gonna put ChatGPT agent to the test. We'll look at real use cases and walk through the actual prompts, outputs, and live executions. Whether it's extracting insights from websites or generating strategic reports, I'm gonna show you exactly how it works what makes it different, and some of the most useful ways that you can apply it. So let's get started. So what actually makes ChatGPT agent different from the ChatGPT that we already know? Well, it's not just smarter. It now thinks and acts and completes tasks for us using our own computer and handles our complex tasks from start to finish. And you can now ask ChatGPT to complete things like look at my calendar and brief me on upcoming client meetings or plan and buy ingredients to make Japanese breakfast and then ChatGPT will intelligently navigate the websites, filter results, prompt you to log in securely when needed, run code, conduct analysis, and even deliver editable slideshows and spreadsheets that summarize its findings. So if we look at what's behind this new agentic system, we'll see that this combines the three strengths of ChatGPT's earlier breakthroughs, and that is operators' ability to interact with websites and deep researchers' skill in synthesizing information, and lastly, ChatGPT's intelligence and conversational fluency. So whether it's grabbing data from your calendar or filtering these search results across the websites, the agent adapts its approach to get the task done quickly and accurately. And most importantly, as they say here, you're always in control. ChatGPT will request permission before taking any actions and you can actually interrupt, take over the browser or stop the tasks at any point. And this is available for Pro, Plus and Team users who can now activate ChatGPT agent, which you can now activate through the tools drop down menu, which you'll be able to find here in agent mode. So now let's start with our first use case. Okay, so for the first use case, I'm asking ChatGPT agent to identify relevant competitors to a startup called MindScan AI. It's an early screening tool for anxiety and depression. And the goal here is to see if the agent can search the web, find real companies operating in the same space, visit their websites, extract the key information, like their features, their target users, then positioning and organize it all into a clean, structured comparison table. So I'm gonna add my first prompt here. I'm gonna say, you're a strategic researcher working on mental health innovation your task is to help prepare a comparative analysis for MindScan AI, a startup offering voice and text-based AI screening for anxiety and depression. So step one here is to identify eight to 10 relevant competitors, use web tools to find other companies in the AI mental space, especially those using natural language processing, sentiment or emotional analysis, chatbots or predictive diagnostics. Step two, visit each website and extract for each competitor, collect the following company name, product or service overview, how AI is used, the target audience, the clinic clinical validation, pricing, partnerships or major clients, positioning language. So I'm asking it to collect quite a lot of information. And then step three of outline the output I want to in, present your findings a comparison table. Each column should represent a category and each row a different company. Then I've given it some information on how the columns should be structured. So let's enter that and see what it comes back with. Okay, and you can see that it comes back. It says I'll identify eight to 10 competitors in AI mental health space, focusing on NLP sentiment analysis and so on, everything that I've stated in my prompt. And then it opens this interface Face, which in reading mode, which is actually similar to what we get from Genspark and Manus, where you can actually see what sites it's going through. Okay, and you can see that it's already starting to access some information on mental health websites. And what I really like about this is that it actually tells you what's happening as it searches these different websites. So for example, it says the document mentions key target audience, such as human resources teams. I'll search for details about the Avery study. I'll open the first search result to proceed with gathering more information. It give you an idea of what it's actually doing as it processes the information. Okay, so let's see what it's come back with. So it's come back with a list of 10 different companies and it's given me the AI approach for each one. So this is Kintsugi, it's a voice biomarker API. It's given me the core features, it's real-time screening, integrates with call centers and telehealth, tells me the target audience, the compliance, tells me about the partnerships it has, the positioning and the differentiator. And if I click down, let's see if it's given me the footnotes and the references. Yes, it has. So I've got here the footnotes, I've got the Kintsugi's website. If we open that, let's see, it will actually 
take me to the competitor's website, identifies mental health challenges. And let's see if it's actually a relevant company. So Kintsugi Voice is an API first platform that uses novel voice biomarkers and speech to identify, prioritize, and care for mental health in real time. So that's an excellent competitor that it has found for me. And then let's look at Abri. This is a multimodal AI text, audio, and video. It says it's a quantified, it's a multimodal AI text and audio and video. So let's go to that one's website and let's see if it's actually a mental health company as well. And so this one is Abri Real Time Mental Health Insights and Monitoring. So this is another excellent competitor that I would definitely be using. So I think it's done an excellent job with compiling all the different competitors that I would need. And it's extracted all the information in a neat, clear table as I asked it to in the prompt. I've got all my references here at the bottom. If I want to go to any of these websites, conducted 13 searches, it's used 109 different sources. And if I click on that, it will replay the live information that is actually gone through. And based on these results, it's actually been very accurate in responding to the task and coming back with quality information. So for this first use case, I would say it's done a fantastic job. Okay, so for our second use case, I'm going to ask ChatGPT agent to build a full strategic proposal deck for MindScan AI. And I want the agent to search for real market data and structure everything into a clear slide by slide presentation. So let's see how it performs when the task is more complex and it needs to combine research, reasoning and formatting. So I'm going to start by adding my prompt here. And I've said, you're a strategic analyst and presentation builder. Your task is to generate a full strategic proposal slide deck for an AI startup called MindScan AI. And then I've given it some information on the company. Step one, market research, search for recent statistics or reports on AI and mental health, extract at least three to five key data points, market size, adoption trends, unmet needs. And then step two, I've told it the deck structure, format the findings as a slide by side presentation, including the executive summary, problem statements, solution overview, the market opportunity, the SWOT analysis, and the strategic recommendation. So let's enter that. Okay, so you can now see that the presentation is now ready. Here's the polished strategic proposal presentation for MindScan AI. The deck includes clear structure, professional visuals, charts, SWOT analysis, and actionable recommendations. So let's open this up and have a look at it. It's added the cover, it's got the tagline here, and then it's got the mental health challenge. Okay, I'd say that I'd say the presentation is quite empty to be honest. And here it's missing an image. It's added some icons here, introducing MindScan AI. Market growth and opportunity, it's added some information, but you can see the graph is in very well formatted. And then we've got here the adoption and engagement trends. So it's added some of the information from the research that it's compiled. It's got the SWOT analysis here and the strategic recommendations. So it's come back with the PowerPoint deck. I'd say it's done a decent job, but in terms of visual appeal and formatting, I think this needs quite a lot of work. And it's not like the polished outputs that you get with the other AI agents like Genspark and Manus, for example. Okay, so let's see what happens when we download this presentation. So it gives you a download PowerPoint. So I'm just going to open that. Here's the presentation on PowerPoint. And let's see, can we actually edit? So actually, each part of this is editable. So I can come here and type and edit. So this is actually really useful. So if I want to remove the date, for example, if I want to come and change the picture. So I really like the fact that I can actually edit a presentation, which is something really good because some of the other AI agents, they don't allow you to edit directly. Although it does need a lot of work in terms of getting into a nice looking presentation, let's come back with initial output that could act as a base for your presentation and it's an editable PowerPoint that you can play around with. Okay, so for the third use case, I'm going to ask ChatGPT agent to run a content audit. I want it to create a spreadsheet for me and the goal is to visit real mental health platforms and to pull together their content, things like their articles, videos, blog posts and I want to know what kind of topics they're covering, who it's aimed at, what format it's in and what kind of information they're providing their audience and I want it to pull this back in a CSV form file so I can open this in Excel or Airtable. And it's the kind of task that would normally require hours of clicking and copying and searching. So let's see if the agent can do this. So I'm going to start by adding my prompt. And I've said here, you're a digital content strategist. Your task is to create a structured table of existing online mental health content that could inform the planning of a new AI mental health platform. So step one, I wanted to find the content sources, search and visit content websites, and I've given it some examples. Step two, extract the following fields for 10 to 15 content pieces. And I've added the title, the topic, the format, the target audience, the tone, the URL. And then step three, output the format into a CSV ready table using these exact column headers. So I have told it how to structure the output, which is really important so I can get the content in the way that is readily usable. And I've also mentioned here 
I do not include any commentary or analysis, just the structured table. And when there's no information, I've added use not available. If the field is missing, I don't want it to make up the information. And then we're gonna enter that. Okay, so again, it's come back with the information. It says, it actually says here, here's a CSV ready table summarizing 15 current mental health content pieces for major platforms. So it's giving me the information actually as a table and not as a CSV file. And if we look at the actual content, it's come back with the title, the topic, the format, what kind of format it was in. So this one was an article, the platform, the target audience, the tone, and then the URL. And it's telling me where it's extracted the information from, whether it's Psychology Today, Mental Health America, and so on. It's giving me the link if I want to refer back to it. So this is actually good. So if we want to check the information, so for example, let's see this one, how to stop intrusive thoughts. If I click on that, yes, it's, it's taken us to the actual websites and the actual content. So in terms of the actual content, it's come back with accurate information and in the exact format that I've asked it to, but it's not a downloadable CSV file. So let's see if the follow-up prompt, it can give me the file. So provide this data as a downloadable CSV file. In just literally a few seconds, it was able to come back with the file. I'm just gonna open it and let's check that it's structured it in the correct way. Okay, so now you can see I've got my full CSV file here with all the relevant information that has been extracted by ChatGPT agent. So as you've seen across these three different use cases, ChatGPT agent has a lot of potential in terms of very quickly executing tasks and extracting information, pulling it into the format that you want. We've seen in some of our use cases that we've had to add some follow-up prompts in order for us to get it to give us the final output that we asked for. And in terms of the presentations, for example, I think that needs a lot more work in order for it to become more visually appealing, but there's a lot of potential. I think this is definitely one that I'm going to be using a lot more going forward forward and as it continues to improve I think this will be a very powerful tool to have so let me know how you're using ChatGPT agent and if you've had a chance to give it a go and I'll see you in the next video